Hey, yo, what up? It's Don. Is anybody here? Is there anything in my teeth? Nope. All right. I just ate a live cactus. <laughs> we are the Soul Brothers. All up inside your notification box on your cellular device. We just most beat, beat your phone. Yes. How does that happen? Soul Squad. We're hackers. We hack inside the Gibson. We're gonna we're gonna talk real quick with you guys. Just a little combo. What about Derek Rose? If Derek Rose didn't get injured. One of the most interesting uh, stories in all of basketball to me. Also the the Michael Jordan one. Yeah, that, that's his whole story is insane. What if like he never retired and what if he yeah. um, stayed with the Bulls? I mean, every time he went to the finals, he won. Exactly. He's 100%. Every single time. LeBron. And he won the MVP every, every single, single time. time. Yeah. But anyways, this video is about Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose is one of the most athletic, Persons. Uh, powerful, Fast. exciting players He's that so I've ever seen. Watch. So fun. So fun. This was obviously before he blew out his ACL. Okay. Um, and he was, you know, obviously he won MVP. Uh, he signed a massive deal with Adidas. Well, how much was it? Like $100 million? Uh, probably more than that. Yeah, maybe. Million? I don't know. But, you know, Bulls signed him. He was with the Bulls. He was he was basically the second coming of, of Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. He was you know supposed I mean? to be. Supposed to be. Uh, a point guard who wasn't crazy tall, but his athletics were so crazy that he was doing posterizing people all yeah, the time so crazy dude uh, and he was just all around all around a really good player that's you have to be an all-around player to get to win MVP mm -hmm. and he was then obviously he blew out his ACL um, and for anybody any of you who know somebody who blew out their ACL or it you sucks. have it's insane horrible it's gnarly the surgery is insane the rehab is insane you yes. can't walk for basically a year yeah you can't do shit no so it's really crazy it's crazy how he came back in a year right uh i think it's maybe a little bit more but you know really? he has some of the best medical help that you can get but like that's crazy that though. is crazy yeah. but just so you guys know um maybe 30 years ago i'm not sure the exact time frame if you blew out your acl you're, you're done, done. That's it. You can't put the ACL back in there. Okay. And what they're doing is it's actually a transplant, right? So they're taking either um, a piece of tendon from a dead person, which, which, is, is, a, which is a cadaver. Which is like a not, a not as good way. Yeah. It's not as good as using your own stuff because um, it's possibility that your body will reject it because it's not your, your DNA. Now what they do, uh, what D Rose did is he took his own tendon. I think he took it from his patella tendon, which is up here. The other place you can take it from is the hamstring. You probably could have taken it from either one of those. You take it, they then thread it through your bone. Here's your knee right here. There is an ACL in the middle of that. It's a uh, uh, ligament, not a tendon. Ligament attaches Basically, bone it to bone. It holds your knee in place. It holds your knee to stabilize you. in, in the center. So if you don't have that, now your knee is just kind of sliding around. Exactly. And if you move a little bit too crazy, it'll just pop out a socket. Right, so the ACL is so important for sports. For sports, but especially. if you if you're just gonna walk and shit, it's fine. You don't need it. You don't need it, but if you you know, I know a dude that doesn't have an ACL. Yeah, exactly. and it's not chill. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you can't but, I'm even saying, run. but I'm just saying, like, you can like you can walk. You yeah, know? it's it's not like yeah. you're not uh, wheelchair ridden. Exactly. But so <clears throat> then they stick it in there, and your body has to take that. Uh, but when they stick it in there, it's a tendon. Yeah. Right. It has to so turn into a. So your body sees that and it goes, "Oh, this is this is cool. What is this? Oh, this is here." Um, first of all, when you blow out your ACL, it it it's literally a piece of ligament. It tears. It will never regrow and attach itself. Never will it do that. That's why they have to do this transplant surgery. So then, uh, your body in about a month or two starts to change it from a tendon to a ligament. Crazy. It alters the DNA of it, makes it into a. Uh, into a ligament totally insane that's just I, the reason i go into all that is just to let you know what he's dealing with um and some people may be upset at him or annoyed that he's always hurt that's a horrific injury it is uh it's career ending a lot of times or it used to be um and he's definitely never been the same since i mean what does he do like i i seen him play like last year or whatever and he's still pretty explosive though i i just wonder why he's not like 
I think he's partially scared exactly. of I think hurting himself again. I think that's it. You know, I, he's I, just as explosive. He's just as fast. Yeah. He, uh, he his handles kind of went away. I don't know. He's not just as explosive. Really? No. Because he's still pretty fast, so. though. For sure, but you're talking about a dude that was, was a freak before. But, but still, like, a freak before, and now he's a little slower, he's still fast as fuck. For sure. Oh, totally. You know? totally. But I think the main reason why D-Rose is not the D-Rose back then is because he's a little scared. Or, I mean, I understand, obviously. I think so, too. But um, he's scared to get injured again, so he's mostly doing, like, floaters and, like, uh, focusing more on jump shots, which is not bad, but that's not his game. If you look back... Like his whole game revolved going, around explosion. Going inside, doing like layup. just like he would just explode to the basket, and it was like, oh my god, this is insane. Only other player that I see move like that is Kyrie. LeBron. No, LeBron really? and Westbrook. Oh, Westbrook. Yeah, With that much like power, I mean, Kyrie's explosive, but he, he no, doesn't but have like the his, same like power. His layups, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But I'm talking about raw, just athleticism, just exploding. Like, right, yeah. and you're just like, whoa. And he had the very fine touches, like, yeah. making every layup go in and shit. So I, I think uh, the video is pretty much about what would happen if he didn't get injured, right? I think he would be, like, the, uh, he would have a few titles right now. If I think it's if, very possible. If he had the right team, yeah. or if he had some, like, um, good, better people on yeah. his team besides, like, no one's pretty good, but... Um, I don't know. I think he would have moved up into a legendary echelon, like where LeBron is and Kobe is. Exactly. Um, and he's not there right now. And the D-Rose line for Adidas would be going crazy right now. Yeah, I'd be doing a lot better. Exactly. Um, and I think he would have won at least one or two more MVPs. Yeah. Because uh, that's just the type of player he was. He went to the finals. Like, uh, what year was that? Uh, did he win like, the finals? He did. Didn't right, he? I don't remember. I think it was against. That was like forty years ago. Yeah, that was a long ass time ago, dude. But uh, I'm pretty sure he went to the finals. Right. And or was it? I don't know. Am I being stupid? Hey Siri. No, Siri is trying to talk to you. <laughs> My phone hates me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, please don't hit me if I'm wrong, because I don't. Just know. let him know. Just let me Correct know. the boy, then roast him a touch. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know? <laughs> Thanks, Don. Thank you. You gotta pay for your mistakes. But um, yeah, I, I also think that he'd be le like legendary status it's right now. It's sad to me. It's so sad. It's like, really sad I to wish... see someone with that level of talent and it just be crushed like that. And his success story is awesome too. Like how yeah. he like, became successful and shit. Yeah. But then I wish there were no injuries, dude. And I wish no one got old. So like everyone's skills can get like I better know. and you can just see like MJ versus like LeBron and like Kobe. Oh, who the fuck's better yeah. oh no he's not in his prime blah 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 you know yeah. I want to see who the fuck would be the best you know yeah. what I'm saying so that would be amazing to watch um, but D-Rose um, he's, he's going to the Knicks hopefully hopefully he does well hopefully he does well. I, I, I don't like you know the Bulls I'm not a Bulls fan I'm a Lakers guy but I don't like seeing the Bulls like not in the playoffs or not doing well in the playoffs, not being a contender, you know? Yeah. I, I just think that they're one of the teams that should just be, you know, I think the Lakers, the Celtics, the Bulls, just from growing up and always seeing those those teams competing at a high level, uh, I like to con see them continuing to do that. But yeah. Um, anyways, that's it for today. Who knows? It's a what if, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but it is the way it is. And it's a cold world and we're just here to talk about it. That's it for today. My name is Don. Stay right here. We are the Soul Brothers. We'll catch you next time. Later. Peace.